to Venus Sushi Live Coding. Um, today I want to sh uh, show you one little trick that you can do using a uh, stretch of nodes. Basically, say you have like a, a bunch of point cloud data, like in this case, uh, this is point cloud data that I collected. Um, it's actually just a bunch of points. Uh, you can't really see it in Blender. I mean, it doesn't have the color data, but you can still see the points. Um, so yeah, you can load point cloud data into Blender 2.8. And this one I have almost 100 PLY, but basically the idea is that you can bring in point cloud data and then you can export it out as Alembic animations. And you can use stretch of nodes for that to make it a little bit faster. So I'll show you. Um, first of all, we're gonna use uh, import PLY. Point cloud data often comes in this format. And then I need to find my point cloud data. And I'll just load a couple. So zero, maybe zero, 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, just, just a bunch of them. So load, loading them into Blender can take a while. A 100 PLY maybe take a, just a couple of minutes. Okay, this one is done already, so only a bunch of them. So this one, a quick demo. Demo point cloud. This one, I believe, if you check under Protect color, it doesn't have it, the data. But anyway, it's still something that you can see, it's feasible. So the idea is uh, using stretch of. And the first guess, perhaps you want to use the objects in. So with objects in, you select all of them, get selections, they go in, inside stretch of, and then you use a list item and basically, or you can use object ID out. And in here, you use a uh, image viewer. And let's see if it is loading. Yeah, it is loading. You, you can see there's alpha. Uh, we can hide our original. So this is the one that coming from scratch off all of them being loaded but we want to kind of load it one by one so use this item and and frame gonna delete everything again delete everything that we can see here uh, and we're gonna be using current frame to load our data one by one so you can see here I'm just Jump, jumping between the data and you can see it is it is actually animated so that's good you can do it this way and then you file export FBX but this actually gonna take quite some time this actually uh, it's, it's gonna process it like really really slowly because it needs to load the objects and for for every frame it's gonna try to load the objects again if you have hundred of this it's gonna take a very long time so this is not how you want to do it. Instead, you're gonna be using object ID selector. Get the mesh object, but uh, make sure you filter it out. Um, filter by object ID, and then just name, filter by name, uh, maybe like something that has 0000. zero, zero, zero. So, it's better if you name the PLY, but normally it doesn't doesn't work like that maybe mm, fil filter out get everything that has alpha alpha is stretch of one and then the one that's not goes in there so I hope I'm doing this correctly yep you see you see the performance it's a lot faster than before I can actually load this I can actually load all my point cloud this way so this is I, I'll save this as a uh, mesh reader I'll call it SV mesh reader it's a very simple nodes right 
and save it as demo point cloud 003 and this one actually have all the the mesh point cloud data this one has a lot more so save this as big point cloud point cloud tends to be pretty big so you, you need to be careful with this um, normally it, it hits 100 megabyte very very easily special notes file append and here let's load our nodes SV mesh reader now SV mesh reader will try to get our mesh data we can I'm turning off my collection now you can see okay this is the point cloud loading performance really good this is actually a point cloud of uh, my knees let's try 80 frame yeah you can see point cloud is loading we don't have the mesh but you can clearly see there's a uh, some kind of data okay and then oops here done select these objects file export alembic selected objects only and let's see how fast this will work you see it's uh, it's almost real time this is actually really big data and then once you're done with this um, you can create a new new blender file file import alembic desktop hide the folders get our alembic so it's now look at this oh wait a minute oh yeah i forgot one one more trick that i forgot is to to kind of uh, we need to force we need to trick blender we need to use a uh, displacement and then strength to zero and then file export alembic once again selected object only turn off renderable objects only let's hope that this one works fingers crossed oh it crashes um it crashes all right cool but hopefully it saves desktop uh, okay that's uh that's not good i might need to use blender 2.79 but I believe this actually will work. Let's try again. File, export, alembic, turn off renderable object only, save as new file. Please don't crash. If this crashes again, oh wait. Okay, fingers crossed. File, import, Alembic desktop turn folder get this thing oh not Suzanne file import alembic desktop this guy ah it's not animated is it oh wait Suzanne is animated this guy is not animated yeah I'm I'm, I'm wondering why it should all actually work. I know why. I have a feeling I need to use Blender 2.79. That's probably an unfortunate thing with Fairchop. Uh, or maybe I did something wrong. This have to be displaced. Turn back to zero. And then I should check it out. File, save as, save as number two. Um, yeah, everything's correct. Turn on post modifier. 
file export file export alembic save this okay fingers crossed do not crash if this crashes it could be because i'm using mac os catalina beta and blender 2.8 has maybe has a bug it doesn't crash so hopefully it saved the animations file import alembic desktop eh. ah. doesn't doesn't have animation ah darn it three times file let's try opening this using the older blender so this is image yeah i think I, we have some kind of loss of that on here still can load the data but but i think the viewer draw i can tell you that this actually works at some point i it works it's i'm not using point cloud data that time but i'm only i'm using like a I'm using like an actual mesh and it's uh, the data is pretty big maybe alumic maybe this guy doesn't like the the type of mesh that I'm doing here but uh, I'll show you when it when this actually works I will show you that it it should come like this as animated alumic and you can play it back and it's actually real time and you can have many many alumic data like this um, I think it's a maybe there's a bug with the uh, blender 2.8 or could be a bug of spare chalk but you can see the it should load like this and when when i export alembic maybe i forgot something here vertex power let's try and it doesn't like the point somehow Hmm. Maybe I can kind of mesh it first using spread chalk. But anyway, that's the idea basically. And yeah, when this works, I'll show you the result in the next video. All right, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.